how's everybody doing today? This is Rich on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Howie Schwab. How are you doing today, Howie? Doing great, Rich. Good to be with you. I'm uh, excited about this and uh, great, great uh, times ahead. I've been a big fan of you and your show, and you are definitely a trivia expert. How long did you work at ESPN, and what were your positions there? Well, I was there for 26 years, and it was a great, great time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, ESPN was great because of the people involved there. Uh, plus, you're working in sports, so every day you got up and uh, you got excited about uh, different things, and so, so many different things happened. Uh, I had many different jobs there. I started in research. Actually, when I started, there was no research department, and I was the first researcher uh, involved with Sports Center and with college football. Uh, then I worked uh, my way up. I was a coordinating producer. I was involved in a variety of shows like College Game Day, both football and basketball. And then I uh, ended up doing this show called Stump the Schwab, which was a lot of fun. And uh, at the end, I was still a coordinating producer and involved in a lot of research things. Uh, when uh, I was let go after 26 years. Now, when did you know and what made you the Sultan of Sports Trivia, as you were known? Well, uh, I've always loved sports. I've been a big sports fan my entire life. And, uh, I mean, I went to my first baseball game at age four. And sports was always going to be part of my life. And I've been very blessed and very lucky that uh, I've made a career of it. I mean, some people are, are fortunate to do something they really enjoy. And I, I've been that. Uh, I've really had a great time with this. I've been in sports media for 40 years, uh, between ESPN, between Sports Jeopardy, between Fox Sports, and, and now my latest ventures. So uh, I've been very lucky and uh, very fortunate and very happy. But, but I knew at a young age I was into sports. I played stratomatic baseball. I I read books. I, I just love sports. And to be able to do something you enjoy in life, that's really rewarding. 100%. Now, tell us about your show, Stump the Schwab, which aired on ESPN over four years ago. Well, the four years we did that, it was really a great time. First of all, the late, great Stuart Scott was so special to work with. And I, I had the pleasure of not only working with Stuart, but also seeing his daughters grow up and it was, the staff and the team that was involved in the product was amazing. And I really truly enjoyed it uh, about 99% of the time. Uh, <laughs> there were one or two shows I was frustrated, but uh, it was challenging because you had to think, you had to be prepared. Um, and I, I had a great time with the show. I mean, what I loved about the show, not only the fact that people enjoyed it, but people would say they learned from the show. Sports fans actually learned some of the information. And I thought it was, it was rewarding in that regard as well. How did you become affiliated with the Clickstream and the WinQuick app? And what is the WinQuick app? Well, first of all, I got associated with Clickstream uh, a friend from high school named Lenny Tucker uh, called me up back uh, in March and said, hey, we're doing this uh, sports trivia app. It'd be right up your alley. I said, okay. And uh, since then, we've been working hard on this. Uh, the Clicks, uh, Win Quick app is going to give you opportunities to win free money and, and uh, challenge yourself with great trivia questions in a variety of different subjects. Uh, and that's what I think is really fascinating because, uh, yes, I'm doing sports. Brian Baldinger is doing sports. Uh, we have uh, a variety of other people. Jordan Andino is doing cooking and food trivia. Uh, we have uh, Michael, who, uh, who's uh, a former Green Beret, who's doing trivia on, uh, on uh, survivalist stuff. Josh Dobbs, the quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars, he's going to be doing outer space trivia, which is really fascinating. 
Wow. Amber, Amber Theo Harris is doing religion trivia. Uh, I mean, it's going to be great. I mean, we have six or seven great hosts who are going to produce and be involved in many interesting trivia subjects. There's a diversity there. And I think that people can find different things that they like and they can win money. Think quick, win quick. I love that. I mean, who doesn't want free money? So I think from that perspective, it's a genius, brilliant idea. Now, you've seen the whole process from the beginning, but it seems like the company has really taken off in the past few months. What have been the biggest developments? Well, first of all, it's been a real process. And to go through a startup like this or, and to go from March to now, it's incredible how much has been accomplished. I mean, the developers and the people working on this project have really busted their butt. And I know I've been involved because I've been writing trivia questions and uh, helping out, giving input. And it's just been a lot of fun because the people involved are very excited about this. Uh, I think this thing is going to be great. It's going to take off. And in this time period with the pandemic and the, the problems we've had in our country, uh, I think that this will be a great opportunity for people to have fun, enjoy themselves on this, give it a shot, try it out, see how well they can do. It, it will be challenging. I, I can assure you from the ones I'm writing, there will be some good, easy questions and there'll be some difficult questions. We want it to be diverse. We want it to be a test. We want you to earn your money and have a good time with it and be entertained by it. So I think this is gonna be a really fun project uh, and coming very soon. Now I understand that the WinQuick app is going to have two live beta tests this Thursday, August the 13th at Correct. eight and 9 p.m. Eastern. What can you tell me about the beta test? Well, I tell you what, this is where this really starts. This is the fun and the excitement of this thing actually going off and happening because you'll have a lot of people trying it out, having fun with it, seeing how they do and learning from this. And I think by word of mouth and the idea of this spreading out there that people will get an idea about this, I think it's just going to be tremendous. It's going to be a lot of fun. The beta testing should be very interesting. It's going to include the variety of hosts each uh, a couple of questions. And so you'll get a sample of what you're going to see when the app actually launches in September. And we're all excited about it because uh, we've worked very hard at this. We've tried to make this positive. Uh, it should look very good. Uh, the amount of work we put into it, we've had meetings every week to discuss the progress. And you've seen it go from March to now. It's, it's incredible to see how, how far this has come. And the beta testing will be a good test to, to see how people like it and a good test to see if we've got all the bugs out. We think we're pretty close. And, and the people have worked very hard on this, the staff. Uh, everyone's excited about it. It's going to be great. Howie, tell me about your first month of production. What was it like and how did it go? Well, I'll tell you what, we, we taped a few shows and I thought it went very, very well. Uh, we got to ask a lot of good questions. Uh, we put out uh, what I think will be a good product. And I think that's important because I think like, like I said, at this time, we want to do something that will excite people, that people will be happy about, be entertained by this. And I, I think that this, uh, the WinQuick app can be great. Uh, by the way, with the beta testing, people should sign up at WinQuick app, at, at winquick.com rather, W-I-N-Q-U-I-K.com. And they can sign up and participate on Thursday eight o'clock and nine o'clock Eastern time. And uh, I think it's going to be a great thing uh, when people see it and people learn about it and people understand it. Uh, I think they will have good opportunities to be entertained 
and to win. I mean, let's face it. You also want to win money. I mean, if someone's going to say, hey, we're going to hand you some money, all you got to do is answer 10 questions and do it as fast as possible. Because one of the rules of the game, the person who answers the quickest uh, could win. That's one of the tiebreakers. So uh, I, I think it's a great concept. And I'm really happy to be, pardon me, I'm happy to be really involved in this because, uh, because it's just starting up and seeing something from the ground floor and seeing it build up. Uh, I mean, I remember the first day I walked in the studio for Stump the Schwab and I was very excited because this was new, this was different and it, it picked up and people loved it. So uh, I think the same thing can happen here. Howie, tell me about the type of trivia questions users can expect from you. Well, I think what's going to be interesting about this is it's not going to be the average question in, in some cases. You're going to have to think. And the other thing is it's going to be diverse in terms of sports. It's not just going to be the major sports like baseball, basketball, football, hockey. Uh, there's going to be tennis. There's going to be golf. There's going to be boxing. There's going to be women's sports. There's going to be lacrosse there's going to be you name it i mean we throw a lot of different things in there because we want you to be challenged we want person who people who have diverse knowledge of sports to be able to answer these questions and to come through uh, and so it's not going to be oh hey i i have to answer this fast and oh it's not going to be that easy okay it will be challenging but you're going to earn your free money you're going to earn the right to win. And I think there'll be bragging rights involved when people win these contests and it'll be exciting. And we have plans to uh, showcase these people and uh, it's just going to be a fun thing. And I'm so excited to be involved with Clickstream and the win quick app. And I hope people look forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, that we have some great hosts, we have great people behind the scenes working very hard on this project. And uh, it's coming very soon, starting with the beta testing, which we're all thrilled and excited about. And uh, that will help us measure some things. Really, really excited about working with you on this project and seeing you grow and develop and really see this app become a huge success. I can't wait to see the trivia questions. As a huge sports fan, I want to test myself. I want to sign see up for the beta time. testing, Rich. I will. I will. I will sign up for the beta testing and I want to see what the questions are like. And as a huge sports fan, I can't wait to see the app, the questions, the trivia and test myself. And well, my own the good news is also it's multiple choice. Oh, great. So you have three wrong answers and one right answer. Now, part of it is figuring out very quickly. You have 10 seconds to answer the questions. So it will be challenging. But it'll be fun. And we want people to have fun with this. We yeah, have enough fun. negativity in this world right now. Let's yeah, have something I, positive. I agree. I, I love it. And the fact that you guys are giving away free money, I think is brilliant. At a time like this, when people are looking for additional income, this is another great way to do it. So guys, take a look at the Clickstream uh, company, Clickstream Corporation, symbol CLIS is the symbol, and the WinQuick app. Thank you so much, Howie Schwab, the Sultan of Sports Trivia. Thank you for joining us today. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. And hopefully we can have you back on our show with an update soon. Anytime, Rich. My pleasure. Uh, I enjoy seeing your stuff. And uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much, Howie. Have a great day. Keep up the great work. And thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, everybody. Take care.